welcome to chapter 2 of the Magic Room in optimizing the constitutional principle of proportionality, a boundary model for collision between fundamental rights. Last episode, we learned that fundamental rights to the law of nature cannot be cancelled or be absolute, and the exercise is subject to limits. So, when a collision between principles happens, that must be solved with the aid of a specific method of proportionality test. In this sense, according to jurisprudence and general theory of fundamental rights, today we will study the well in law process as well as the operation of founding formula of modern rights. By the end of this video, you will have learned the following. How does the pounding law process, the pounding formula and the triangular scale of robo operate? Also, you will learn the jurisprudent mindsets for optimization of principle in cases of application of proportionality tests and a formal definition of optimize. Then, according to the semantic problem of legal argumentation and the necessity of rational decision, we will propose the hypothesis of our model of two optimized fundamental rights with Nash theory of games. Chapter 3 the bounding law process and operation of the bounding formula of rubber alex. In the framework of the general theory of fundamental rights and semantic theory of legal argumentation, the development of our optimization model is intended to configure and harmonize the element defined by various constitutional courts, jurisprudence, and rubber alexi bounding law in an epistemological scheme. According to Alexi, the law of bounding can be divided into three steps. In the first step, it is necessary to define the non-satisfactory or affectation limit on one of the rights. Then, in the second step, we define the importance of the satisfaction on the right that plays in the opposite direction. Finally, in the third step, we must define whether the importance of satisfaction on the opposite right justifies the restriction or non satisfaction of the other. In order to structure that, Alexi proposed his waiting form. As we said in last episode, principle of proportionality is divided into three sub-principles, adequate sociability, necessity, and proportionality in the narrow sense. Alexi points out that a collision between principles can be modeled rationally by operating with the scales of intensity range. As we said, in order to apply the three sub principles, Alexi proposed the following function to which he denominates the founding formula, the whose element we will frequently allusion during this video. Here and after, I and J will be understood like sub index. GPI J, C, broad depending on the principle right PI while respect to the principle or right PJ in relation to the application of a certain appellate measure in division. I, PJ, C, intensity of the restriction and affectation on PI in a specific case, which results in the relation or reciprocal expansion of PJ, W, PJ, C as an effect of say a better measure. GPIA, the degree of founding on PI in abstract sense with respect to PJ, GPJA. SPIC, security of empirical assumptions, which relate to the meaning that the judicial appellate measure has in the specific case for a done realization of PI and the realization of expansion of PJ, SPJC. Next, we will analyze Robert Alexi formula formula performance represented by the variable GPIJC, which is required to be weighed as part of an exercise of constitutional control over a given appellate measure under review. 
and this figure will represent a conceptual scheme of the following formula of Robert Alexi, which illustrates the triadic scale associated with this formula for weighing the degree of restriction or affectation on the principle of movement rights. For example, the intensity of judicial control and, on the other hand, the epistemic scale is detailed to assess the safety or material sanctity of the specific appellate measure. Alexi calls WI to the non relative concrete way. For example, the importance of PI, the principle determined by the product of IPIC and GPIA. The assessment of the necessity for the appellate measure, SPIC, with regard to another alternative, is performed by the application of the epistemic scale. As regards the denominator of the formula, we found the parameters corresponding to the principle that is confirmed PJ, which, in their legal connotation, are reciprocal in the pounding process, WPJC and GPGA. The variable SPJC represents assessments of the necessity of the appellate measure. It is not necessarily in reciprocal regression with SPIC, is paired in the numerator. About this effect, Alexi points out that the principle demands maximum possible realizations relative both to the material possibilities as the non-legal possibilities. The sum principles of suability and necessity express the method of optimization relative to the fact of possibilities. In turn, pounding in narrow set do not play any role. It is a question of preventing certain interventions in the fundamental rights. There are available without cost of another principles. That is to say, it's the Pareto optimum. However, the principle of proportionality in the narrow sense refers to the optimization of legal possibilities. This is the field of pounding, the only one that will interest in this text. P1 and P2, and that is very important. When taken together, that is, as elements of a single system, proscribe the use of M. This shows that the principle of suitability is nothing other than an expression of the idea of Pareto optimality. The triadic scale of Robert Alexi schematizes the notion of proportionality and reciprocity between two fundamental principles or rights. In Alexi's interpretation of the reasoning of the German Federal Constitutional Court, a small restriction on IPIC is expected to reflect a reformation, however yet, an increase in the relation of PJ with regard to SPIC and SPJC, the need for the judicial appellate measure that values the aforementioned Constitutional Court with regard to PI and PJ through the epistemic scale. In this sense, Alexis states that the greater an intervention in a fundamental right, the greater must be the certainty of the premise that supports that intervention. This second part of the law of funding carries the predicate of epistemic because it is not based on a specific material importance of the reason that sustains an intervention, but on its epistemic quality. According to Alexi, the sub-principles express the idea of optimization relative to factual and legally possibilities. Expressly, Alexi points out some principles of suability is not in other than the expression of the idea of Pareto optimally. Based on our interpretation, this figure represents the reciprocal interaction between the principles PI and PJ by means of two shaded areas. Under this idea, a restriction on IPIC by moving the cursor to the left reduces its lower area and proportionality increases the upper area WPJC. If 
in Mexican jurisprudence as well as international jurisprudence, optimization mandate is quite clear and based on the need to achieve certain characteristics in a specific cases of application of the principle of proportionality. Such characteristics are, in a specific cases, it is necessary a suitable retaliate three times in tuning in the restriction of rising collision contrasted against the gradual found in that trap sense for the relation of the expansion of the principles in conflict. Metaphorically, we can imagine that in hyperspace, the intensity of the specific measure, the law or act of authority on the review, is a force designed to delimit and define a container that restricts the expansion of legal principles or fundamental rights in the abstract sense. Since the rights in the abstract sense, according to Alexis' theory, reflects the aspirations to join more rights of society. So, we have a two forces struggle in the opposite direction. One that is proper is to restrict the legal measure that is specifically reviewed and the other that wants to exacerbate as much as possible the aspiration of the people, fundamental rights in the abstract sense. The Supreme Principle's ability plays the most important role in the application of the principle of proportionality. However, such principle is not operationally represented in the following formula, as we will see in the next episode. Then, it is required to apply probabilistic criteria on the suitability of the applicable measure and finally, it requires to estimate the benefits and the costs of the judicial constitutionality control. The Spanish Real Academic Language Dictionary defines the notion of optimize as finding the best way to carry out an activity. In English language, Cambridge Dictionary defines optimize as to make something as good as possible. So, definition of optimize in natural languages are very generic. For this reason, within this reference framework, it is essential to define with great precision and operability the notion and scope of the term optimize, which requires more rigorous and pragmatic connotations in the domain of decision analysis theory. In order to understand the historical evolution and current connotation of the term optimize, the work of Wilhelm and Dieter offers a summary panorama from Red Antiquity to the present day. Through notable contributions by mathematicians such as Alejandre, Fermat, Newton, Leibniz, Euler, Gauss, Gauchy, Lagrange, Kuhn, and Tucker, Kantarovich, among many others, to the modern approaches of Datsin, Kachiyan, and Karmarkar. As a road of synthesis, mathematical optimization refers to the maximization or equal minimization of multivariable function called the objective function, subject or not to a certain set of constraints. In general terms, the optimizations may include linear, non-linear or both decision variable mixes. On the other side, in the domain of Guillaume theory, John Forbert Nash develops a combinatorial scheme to determine the best balance of a set of sister trades and decision variables for two agents or players in terms of game theory. Its philosophy is different from the classical scheme of optimization described by Welfan and Dieter, the former's natural and structure will be applied later in episode 5 and 6 of this video series. Such a scheme is called Nash Equilibrium and constitutes the basis of our model to optimize the principle of proportionality. Semantic theory of legal argumentation has demonstrated that in the natural languages it is not possible to distinguish the analytical from the synthetic aspect of legal argumentation. So, to analyze the inspiration constitutes of legal reasoning, we need to formalize it in a meta-language. This meta-language will be our optimization model based on our theory of legal decision. In this sense, our model of optimization it is located within the framework of the following hypothesis. 
Logicity of judicial motivation is decisive to a shy and to expand fundamental rights in a specific case. Therefore, the collegiated dialectic in the matic context favors the highest possible degree of consensus as well as the congruence of decisions between legal operations, and by virtue of this, they probably converge to the Nash equilibrium. That means that degree of consensus depends on the degree of congress, and this last depends on its logic grade. Logicity L represents the rate of formal consistency in rational election during the waiting process with the static cardinal skate. We will see this detailed in episode 5 and 6. We can say that logicity is philosophical and logical mathematical notion that denotes apodictic and syntactic consistency in the text or an argument by its form, according to the rules of logic, and regardless of its material content, persuasive rhetoric, or language games, whose intentionally is completely understood to the common of people, for its clarity and absence of ambiguities and contradictions. This is our own interpretation. The third does not exist in the Dictionary of Real Academic of Spanish Language and Cambridge Dictionary in English Language, although it is used in the scientific and legal literature. On the alternative of legal decisions and technological free software resources that we will see in the next episodes, our model will allow the participation of end gamer or end constitutional judge and end fundamental rights or principles for the demand the best scenario of combinatorial strategies that optimize values, general principles of law or fundamental rights. This is the best mathematical strategy for an agreement, a scenario denominated the Nash equilibrium.